what's going on everybody welcome back to movie files i am here to share with you all a new movie review and this time is for the film escape room which comes to theaters uh january 4th i believe of 2019 but anyway i was morgan and i were able to see this movie it is um december i'm just shooting this what is it december 10th we saw this about a week ago so we saw it a month in advance there were no press uh, as far as, you know, press in our theater. It was just a kind of a public kind of screener. Uh, so interesting, you know, and, and, and I'll, I'll share with you guys my thoughts on the film in regards to, you know, we have that stigma. If you're in the film community, you know, films back in the day, I'll say when films came out at the beginning of the year, January, February, March, it kind of had a stigma to it. But now in the last three or four years, that, that narrative has kind of changed. You think of Split that came out last year, early at the top of the year. Obviously, Black Panther, Get Out, things of that nature. The summer season has come a little bit sooner than usual. So, you know, I'm going to let you guys know if I think this is kind of then the old train of thought where a, a movie that comes out this early has a little bit of a concern maybe and maybe something you want to wait to see or if it's going to follow in the vein of those films that we got that I just mentioned a Deadpool a Get Out a Split of, of recent memories so with that being said I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the film spoiler free of course but before I give you guys my thoughts on the film I want to welcome all the newcomers here in Movie Files if you haven't already subscribed to our channel make sure you're hitting that notification bell so you can stay up to date with our latest trailer reactions movie reviews TV reviews as well as unboxing videos. Uh, so definitely do us a favor and hit the subscribe button. With that out of the way, let's talk about Escape Room. Again, this film is brought to us by a director who I'm not too familiar with his work. He's done uh, Insidious, The Last Key, which came out actually at the beginning of 2018. Uh, and that's the only movie I'm familiar with of his. And didn't really like that film. So nevertheless, when I saw this trailer of Escape Room, this was released in October, I thought it was really interesting. To me, it definitely had the Saw vibes. I'm going to leave the trailer in the description below. So if you guys aren't familiar with Escape Room, I'll give you guys the link to the to the, uh, the trailer so you can give you know uh, see what the movie's about. But when I saw the trailer back in October, it was interesting. It, it reminded me of Saw mixed in with, you know, some obviously had some thriller, psychological thriller vibes. So it had my interest. And plus, I've never been to an escape room, but we live in Missouri, and there's literally tons of escape rooms. And I know they're all over the place, Atlanta, New York, Chicago, everywhere. So I've never went to one, but seeing this movie, something I might be interested in. But anyway, if you guys aren't too familiar with my format, I like to touch on the positives of the film and then touch on the negatives. So kind of starting off top, the, the thing that was the hook that got me into this film was the elements of the escape room. I'm here to tell you guys, if you are fans of escape room or fans of being you know, claustrophobic and just things of that nature, uh, or not fans of being that, but like like movies that kind of give you that element like The Descent, this movie delivers on that front. You know, the escape rooms were number one. They were very immersive. They were very uh, uh, well thought out type of uh, uh, escape rooms, and they were just really well done in the sense of how they were constructed and, and meeting these characters, which I'll go over the cast here in a little bit, but I thought that that element of the movie really worked for me personally was the, the just the, how they create the escape rooms and, and the different elements, you know, cold, heat, water. Well, again, you guys can check out the trailer, but I thought that the escape rooms were pretty, pretty smart and, and clever the way they used them. Kind of touching on some other positives, there were some standouts in regards to the cast. A lot of newcomers that I'm not too familiar with, like the lead of this film, uh, uh, Tyler or Taylor uh, uh, Russell, who kind of carried the film. I thought she was fine, but definitely I would say uh, Deborah Ann uh, uh, Wall, who we've seen from Daredevil, and if you guys watch TV, Daredevil, as well as uh, True Blood. I really love her. I think she's a great actress. I'm so sad that we don't get a season four of Daredevil. We'll see what comes of that, but I thought she to stand out and also another tv actor that i'm familiar with is jay ellis if you guys watch hbo's insecure i thought they they were probably the two of my favorite characters in the movie in regards to had some character development had some strong moments in the film and kind of led the movie uh and then kind of stood out to me as far as some standouts but outside of that you know again i thought the escape rooms were actually cool and those two actresses and actors that i just mentioned jay ellis and deborah uh were staying out getting into the negatives here the story wasn't all that interesting to me. You know, we meet these, I believe it was like five or six of these people that were in the escape room. We got a little bit of background on them, but I just wasn't feeling what we got from the characters. I didn't really care of what, what happened to them because it just they just didn't hook me into their background and really care too much. 
The story element, there was a lot of plot holes in this film without giving too many spoilers away. The ending really was a head scratcher. The ending, I'll say this. The, if the film would have never ended the way it would have, I would have probably given this movie a little bit higher score, which I'll get to later at the, at the back half of this video. But the ending really just cr crumbles apart. You know, the first half, you get to meet the characters, which is fine. You get that in any traditional movie. The second half is really where things wrap up and they, or ramp up in regards to the escape rooms and, and them going through all that stuff. And then the third act really is just... Uh, it's not the greatest. Um, but again, I thought the movie had script issues. There were some characters that I really didn't care for. There was some really, really questionable dialogue. Most of the jokes landed, but a lot of them didn't. Uh, but all in all, again, as I had said at the beginning of this video, is this one of these early type of movies that come out at the beginning of the year that's kind of a head scratcher and it could have been i thought for me personally this film would have been perfect for a netflix type of streaming platform or hulu but all in all you know i would say this is a little bit above average of a movie that we're used to in the last four or five years that we get at the top of the years definitely not in the same vein of like a deadpool or get out or a split that surprises the hell out of you but all in all guys i'm gonna give this film i'll give it a 2.8 out of five I wouldn't say you have to rush out to the theater to see this when it comes out at the beginning of the year because, again, we got Glass coming out next year. And then literally February, we're going to have – or March, you're going to have the new Jordan Peele movie, uh, Us, I believe is what it's called. You got Captain Marvel. So there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out at the beginning of the year that I think would be probably more – suited for you to spend your money on but again who am i to say what you're spending your money on but again 2.8 out of 5 it's okay again i like the escape room uh this movie is not a horror movie at all it's a psychological thriller there's literally no like visually like gory scenes like i saw like i was thinking this would be uh it was definitely more like a pg-13 type of film so 2.8 out of 5 i will wait till it comes out on dvd or blu-ray or netflix or hulu or whatever the case may be but with that being said, that's just my thoughts, guys. Let me know what you guys thought of the trailer. If you're interested in seeing this film, if you believe, if you're in the same thought of me that summer movies are now being pushed up a lot earlier than, you know, we are uh, accustomed to in the last few years. Uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and share this video. Definitely, like I said, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of our latest content. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video, and we will see you on the next one. Little boxes on the hillside, little boxes made of ticky-tacky, little boxes on the hillside.